I think that the big thing about driving a Mini is that whenever you go out in one, you come back and you've enjoyed the experience, it puts a smile on your face. Mike Cooper now runs the legendary company, founded by his father, John. I was born just five years before the Mini came out. I was born in a garage, and I've always obviously dearly loved the Mini. In 1959 and 1960, uh, of course, the Cooper Car Company with my father um, had won the Formula One World Championship. When my father was shown the new Mini, he thought this car could win races. Uh, and, and basically, BMC then said to him, we'll take one away and, and see what you can do with it. When the car came out, the, the, really, the real potential was seen by the fact that it was, a, it was a small box design with a wheel at each corner, literally at each corner, and the fact that each wheel was independently sprung. So straight away you had a, a, a superb setup for handling characteristics. The thing it lacked, obviously, was, was power, um, and that's where Cooper came in. And basically the major changes that were made were in fact obviously the uh, this model the 1275 was the increasing of the capacity of the engine it had plenty of power now the biggest problem was uh, stopping it so that's where that's where that um, the world's smallest disc brake began was in the mini wheel well it was uh, everyone thought it was a joke when it when it first appeared um, everybody thought you know there's no way that little car over there can take on the might of uh, you know, Jaguars and, and, and whatever, to, 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 to win rallies. And uh, they were wrong. It was a golden age for British motor racing, but it was like everything else in the 60s, I think. It was the golden age for everything. Um, fashion, the Mini became a fashion icon. We, we won the World Cup at football. Our cars were winning the rallies all around the world. I mean, it was, it was the, the, the 60s was Britain at its best. The, the power of the standard Mini Cooper now leaving the factory is around 64 brake horsepower. As far as you can go, as it were, is 90 brake horsepower. So it's really really is quite a nice little powerful car. The Mini became the best-selling British car of all time.